I I haven't spent time with Olivia and Javon a good amount of time with them for a couple of years to be honest with you and what Javon's already 12 now Olivia's 8 and she's a very much a madame and this time that I've spent with them has been so beautiful like it's really made me realise what's truly important and my family is so important but I've definitely shifted that and I've tried to make excuses for shifting it and there's no excuses for it because at the end of the day I have a, I have a responsibility I'm a brother and I'm a son as well as being a friend but I have to nurture my home and get right with home and be the brother and be a son first before I'm anything else and I've never held that as a priority before like I have now so I'm just enjoying this you know I'm just enjoying it I love my family very dysfunctional annoys the hell out of me sometimes oh especially my mum mum could be so annoying sometimes she's, just, she's always talking when I'm like watching my favourite programme <laughs> every time like she never fails to miss she will start a whole conversation just when I'm watching something I want to watch all the time but I wouldn't change it for the world wouldn't change it for the world I don't know I just have a different focus and my focus right now is just really different just anyone that really does come into my life has to bring an, something significant I can't I feel like I'm evolving, I'm not about clubbing anymore, gay events, I'm so over, I'll definitely talk about that another time, don't want to use every subject in one video, but there's so much things in life that I'm over, so much things that I'm over, so much things that I want to do, so much of life that I need to experience, so much. And not everyone can be on that journey with you. But one thing that would always be here. Family. <sighs> I really need to. Um, I need to get things right with my dad. As much as I. Ugh, I love my dad so much, I just don't like him. He's just so, ugh. But, he's my dad and he'll always be my dad, you know? So. That's something I'm going to do better for next year. Is just make more of an effort to... be his son. I know he loves me, I'm his oldest son. My dad really does love me, it's just... I've just realised a lot, you know, but in realising that... He's not going to be here forever. And I'm not going to have a situation like I had with my nan. Because with my nan, when she died, I didn't get to say bye. It's because of my own ignorance. I was working... You really don't know how precious life is until it, it's taken away from you. It's something I feel like I'm going to be living with the regret until the day I die, until I, I can see her. And she says that she forgives me because she really wanted to see me at the hospital that day she died. And I wanted to go.
I just disregarded it. I was like, oh, I'll see her when she gets home. Because everyone's saying that she's going to get better. Like, oh, I'll just see her when she gets home. I don't want to see her like this. But I just didn't think it was that serious. And then she died. She really wanted to see me. She just kept on saying, Junior. I spoke to her though. So that's kind of a regret I live with. And I really do live with it. I just hope that she forgives me, man. I really just... That's the thing, You can people can be here and then gone the next. You really don't know how precious life is. This is what I don't understand when people like taking advantage of people and just acting the way they do in situations because it's, it's so crazy that you can dis disregard life. You have to remember what goes around comes around. People don't take nothing seriously nowadays and then when it's too late. I remember every time you've been hurt, you're gonna be someone's how I feel about my nan. But my nan knew that I loved her. So I didn't mistreat her. If I mistreated her, fucking hell. Woo! I would be really bad right now. But it's, I thought that she was just going to be fine. So, that was just my thing. Ace of Cups. I just didn't think that she was going to go like that just so fast. Because she got transferred to a hospital closer. So, she was in... um a hospital like in Surrey or one of these places and then they transferred her into Newham General which she lived in East Ham so I was like oh so she's gonna be okay yeah well, my mum was like yeah she's gonna be fine she'll be home so if you don't see her at the hospital you can just see her let's see her when she gets home I'm like yeah I'll just wait till she gets home that same night she died Just like that. I do talk to her often. I do like tell her I hope she forgives me and I've prayed and stuff. But I, I learned a lot from her death though. More than any other death that I've ever had to incur. Especially with the simple fact that like she was single for 53 years and that was like one of my biggest fears turning 30 I was like oh my god I don't want to be single for that long and now I can see the beauty in it <laughs> I can see the beauty in it because she had everything she needed she had everything she needed she already had her kids they were already grown out of the house grandkids and she just traveled and she lost so much people i think that's one thing i'm not looking forward to to be honest is when you get to a certain age and you just start losing people and it becomes normal to lose people she remember she went to a funeral like every every week for a couple of weeks in a row because people at that age are just pass. Oh, I really need to. I really need to live my most righteous life, honestly. Because you really don't get a second chance.
to right no wrongs. When you're gone, you're gone. When someone's gone, they are gone. So it's very important to love. When you think of love, when you think of death, things like insecurities and none of that matters. None of that matters. Sad, right? Unfortunately, it's life. <laughs> I mean, if you're uncomfortable about hearing stuff like this, then <sighs> good luck to you and dealing with life. Because <laughs> it's life. Oh, I'm so into this. I cannot wait to be a pro at this. Honestly. <gasps> I can't wait to be a pro at this. But mm, what I'm gonna do today? I think I need to start editing my vlog for yesterday, and I'm going to. It's so funny. I'm not really hungry yet. I'm not really hungry yet. Mm. I'm gonna have my tea though. You already know that's it. Today we got peppermint. Mm. Ah, peppermint for the soul. <laughs> mm. Tastes good. Tastes good. Anyone you know watch EastEnders yesterday? I was really expecting EastEnders on Christmas to be booming. I was quite disappointed, to be honest. I was quite disappointed, but this way it's New Year's. It's always New Year's. It's so bad because it's going to be so weird, but I actually can relate to Sharon. When she was saying what she lacked from Phil, I understood it. I, I so understood. It's so easy for people to fall into someone's arms when they feel lonely, you know. When women cheat, it's so much different to men. And I don't think people fathom that. Women don't cheat for the same reasons. Women don't need to have their ego boosted or their pussy. But it's, just, it's different. Men, they can just cheat for the sake of cheating. They can not care about it either. But for women, for a woman to cheat, it always has to be really emotional. I feel like I I, I can relate to that like one hundred percent because I think when you're so I don't know if it's a woman thing to be honest, or it's just because women are more relationship orientated. When someone really puts their all into a relationship and you really, 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 really cherish it, you would never, never do anything to jeopardize it, even if that person's hurting you. Now, all this mentality if you cheat, I'm a cheat. Like, I don't, I've never understood that. That would never be my life. That's I think it's such a it's I just think it's such a childish mentality to be honest. I wouldn't even do it. I would honestly have my dignity and walk away. I always said to myself, like, hold the same standards for yourself that you hold in others. I wouldn't allow myself if I knew that I was even willing to cheat or I felt like cheating, I would leave the fucking relationship because that would what would be the point if that is the point of like especially because the way i love i love so hard i love with everything with everything so if i feel the need to cheat on you <laughs> me to feel it to feel to want somebody else to even feel that place where i'm feeling someone else like that on the level that i'm feeling you then we we finished I only fight for something if I still have that feeling for someone and I don't feel that for... I, I can't see anyone else. Like, I can't do it when I'm in a relationship with someone. But for me to get to that point where someone is 
oh yeah it will make me makes me feel that type of way oh it's a done deal it's finished it's a wrap because that almost happened to me in my relationship it did happen i went to black pride and uh, me and my partner at the time had like a massive argument the night before that was when i went to his house i went to his house after scala a club if you guys don't know and i was dressed in my crop top and my whatever and he never answered the door and I was there in the morning for like an hour outside ringing a doorbell. So, I from that time that I had to go home, I had to change on the street in South London. It was so embarrassing. I remember this car driving past with all black boys inside at that time in the morning. And I had a crop. Oh, oh my God, I was so scared. I was so scared. I was like, this is just it. It's finished for me. <laughs> I went home and I was like, it's done. Then that same day was Black Pride and th this boy, I still speak to him now. Well, I don't speak to him now, but if I see him around, I'll say hi and stuff. But last, he still is very much attracted to me. He looks like he wants to eat me alive every time I see him. Then I remember I was walking, I was with me and Hawa. And he was like, damn, you're so, you're sexy. And he came to me, I was like, I'm what? And at that time, my ex never complimented me, never, never. Like his compliment would be like, look at you. That would, that would be his compliment. So that's how I knew that I looked good when he was like, look at you. And they like, wow, you look sexy. You're beautiful now. I never had that. Men don't do that. Not the ones in my life. So, um, he just he was like, you're gorgeous. My God, like, look at your lips, your eyes. I was like, really? So, yeah, I was like, mm. I said, he said, are you single? I said, well, I am today anyway. He goes, okay, so you're going to be mine, yeah? I was like, <laughs> <laughs> but inside, I, it, like, I, just, I said, just because I'm saying I'm single, it, it doesn't mean that thing, like, anything can happen. Like, I can't date you because I literally just broke up. I decided that I'm breaking up with my partner today. Like, it doesn't, I, I can't. Like, he goes, so, I don't, so you're not together with him, are you? So why does it matter? I was like, I'm saying that, but inside I just knew that it didn't feel right. Like, I, ugh, Jesus. Even though I said it, it, it wasn't, it wasn't like for real, for real. So, if I was any type of way, it would have been so easy. So easy to fall in the arms of another honey. But I did not. I was good. It was good because I still loved him. And three days later, we patched things up. I was back down there. And then boom. I told you, like, when you forget, things just get worse than me. That's why I do believe once a cheater, always a cheater. Because I do believe once you do it, you're always capable of being in that position of doing it again. For someone that is for me, that wants me, I don't believe that would be a mistake they would make. And I know people make mistakes, but cheating is not a mistake. It's definitely not a mistake. And if you're being cheated on by a woman, whew, that certainly is not a mistake. You don't know what you did to fuck that up. <laughs> it doesn't make it right, but <laughs> that one's even more serious, I beg. <laughs> that one's more serious. So. I can't wait to use that cream, actually. I'm going to only use it when I really go outside. When I'm in here. Oh, these are actual light bulbs. Bright light to illuminate room for any special occasion. Automatically rotates when turned on for constantly moving and changing light effects compatible with any size light fixtures. Energy saving, ultra light lid. Oh, I know that. I thought it was a whole thing. I didn't know it was an actual light bulb. Can I put that in there? Oh my god, imagine that. But, um,. That's something I'm definitely not prepared to do in my limited lifetime is be with a cheater. 
I know that I'm not really bitter about it anymore, so if it happens, it happens, but... I mean, I don't mean I don't know why I have to be the one to compromise myself, my dignity, and have to be the one learning to love you again. That's just too much out of my time, I'm sorry. It's too time consuming and no one's worth that time. If someone can't appreciate me with the love that I'm giving to you and you're not giving it to me back in the same respect that I can go out there and not do anything and you can't hold yourself and you cannot even, you know, respect me in that light to know, you know what, I've got something that I'm willing to lose at home, that I'm not willing to lose or compromise with at home. So no, this is not happening. If I can't have a man with that mentality, I just don't want one at all, to be honest. Because I want someone that is scared of losing me. Because when I'm in, when I'm with someone, I'm scared of losing them. So I wouldn't do anything that would jeopardise me losing them. I wouldn't ever put myself in that compromising position where I can potentially lose them. Unless it's already a done deal in my head. So, if either you already think that we're over, or you just don't care about me at all. Because there should be no way that it should be easy for you to sleep with someone else if you really care about me. So that's when I told you that cheating is definitely not a choice. Especially not, uh, cheating is definitely not a, a, a mistake. Especially when a man's concerned. Never. Never. Ugh. Never a mistake. Especially when people cheat without a condom. <sighs> and they know they have a partner. Hmm. That! I know you want to come to me and tell me, oh, I think you're a snake. What's a cheat? What's a cheat? Always a cheat, mate. Once you do something, it's always inside you. Look at me. Once I did 419, I did it again and again. <laughs> Once something is inside you, trust me, you may stop it. Like you, you get to a point where you grow. But there's certain things, I'm sorry, it will always be inside you. <laughs> it's true.